There is no such thing as a free lunch or a free ride. You want a ride? You pay gas. On the Ethereum blockchain, gas refers to the cost necessary to perform a transaction on the network. The price of the gas is referred to as guai. Well, why? Guai is a portmanteau. It's a blending of two words. Look it up. With the rise of Web3 and NFTs, the price of mandatory blockchain transaction fees, which you now know are referred to as gas fees, serves as one of the largest barriers to entry for mainstream adoption. The more people using the network, the higher the gas fee. A gas limit is the maximum amount of gas or energy that a cryptocurrency user is willing to pay when completing a transaction. So what is a gas fee really? Well, they're payments by individuals made to complete a transaction. They're typically paid in the blockchain's native cryptocurrency. If you choose to pay a guai above the market price, you're guaranteed that your transaction will be done quickly on the blockchain. However, if you're not in a hurry, you can select a lower gas price and wait for when the transaction will be processed. The two main factors that determine the price of gas for each blockchain is the time required for the respective blockchain to generate new blocks and how many transactions a single block can process. Ethereum has great plans to increase the number of transactions it can handle per second to about 150,000 by the end of the year. Congestion of the network is one of the main reasons for the high gas fees. The proof of stake model used by ETH2 reduces the energy power intensive problem of the proof of work used by ETH. Sharding, the funniest word in crypto, will increase the number of transactions the network can handle as validation will be assigned to different validators overseeing different shards. Overall, a reduction in gas fees will open up more opportunities for people to participate in crypto and DeFi as a whole. For more on crypto news and jargon like this, like this video and subscribe to our channel. It's not that hard. You just hit the thumbs up button or the bell to be notified of our next video. And subscribe, of course. If you don't like our stuff, that's fine too. You can leave. No one is trying to change your mind. But if you do like our stuff, leave a comment. Make my day.